waving her arms up and down, and that is indicating the weight. What kind of weight she's going to throw? Oh, well, Kim Crass and Shannon Burns are holding her up. They haven't laid a brush to it. It's a long way out there. She it, has to hit and stay. She's going to hit it and roll to the right hand side. Well, let me tell you. There it is on the edge of the forefoot. Big, big shot here. Comes out. There it goes. Pretty the good Canadian weight. championship they, on the line here. They, Will she hit and stay? They jumped on it right away. She's very close. There's no indication. Yes, she's got it. it. Not a question about it. Right off the nose. It never wavered. Colleen Jones. Barbie Jones, Gordon, Monica Jones, and Kay Smith, the 1982 Canadian Ladies Curling Champion. The shot by Kathy Shaw is on its way. And the success of this one could determine this 1983 Ladies Championship. Kathy Shaw is not going to take too big a chance here. She's thrown this rock well short of the ring. Like they're going to be life and death to get is over she the, the hog line. Oh, they got it over and just over. And the only shot available for Penny the Rock now is a cold outturn draw. Look at her. Look at the power of concentration. The outturn draw. Only shot that Penny Rock has. This is where sweeping judgment is so critical. Oh, she looks very Powers strong. It's starting to dig in. You'll see Kathy Cottle and Pam Sanford looking at it. She's going to be pretty good. And let me tell you, Don, she's it's not going to be away. it in the open and Colleen Jones happens to hit it and roll behind now the center guard and the one on top of the 12 foot you may not have a shot the thing in Connie's favor here is that she's playing a draw and she wants to establish her draw weight and she has lots of weight on this one they're not touching it she has a lot of weight and a lot of room now it's starting to come in now it looks like a great shot they want to make sure they get around it now he they have this week. Harry. He does. Right to the button. Oh, a great shot. A great shot. And if we can just get an overhead shot of that, we'll see how close she is to the button. Don, this is a difficult shot. She just has to play about the same weight as Connie Laliberti, just hoping that she moves three or four inches. Will this rock bend it up? Oh, she's got a lot of weight. She's a long way out there. I don't think she's going to hit it at all. It's a long way out. Now it's starting to bend. I don't think she's going to make it. Now it's starting. Look at it. It's going oh, sideways. It's just going sideways. Oh, she's going to run up the right hair. Up something Manitoba has won. Oh, the game of curling was very cruel to Colleen Jones on. The rock was a long way out, and it looked like it picked up something. I don't know whether she would have made the shot or not. But a bad break for Colleen Jones. And went against Nova Scotia in the semifinal. She threw that one, Sue Ann, just a little bit outside that center line. And they're going to hope that it curls over to the shot rock on the left. Now they got to work on it. They're concerned about her weight. They are brushing it strong. She is going to be in the house. But they want it right up against the face of one of those rocks. And she's there. Excellent shot by Sue Ann Barker. Linda Moore is on the threshold of duplicating that performance. Well, she's got a good looking rock down. She's going to score two. Good shot. Yes, she does get two, and I think they'll be shaking hands. 
Well, maybe not. Sam Bartlett's uh, talking to her team whether to shake hands. They're six down coming home, and it's all over. 15 7 will be the final score in this 1985 Canadian Ladies Curling Championship. Well, wishers. And well, you know, when you're down 4 1 and you're trying to make perfect shots, the other team is coming up with big shots, you know, it gets very frustrating and you know that you're in a very tough and to try and get back in the game. And Ontario has just not given Linda Moore a chance to get back in the game, but not only that, unfortunately for Linda Moore, it is not one of her better games. You no, know, and she had to play a game too that isn't her game as well. How would you know, Don? Because you never lost a game in World <laughs> Championship play. Kathy McEdwards with what yep. could be the final stone of this 1986 Hurry. championship. Hurry and they're sweeping this one just a little bit harder because they know if they make this one, the game is over. You just watch the emotion watch coming down. Exactly. Just watch what? this. And that's it. They're going to shake hands. It's all over. I think both Deb Masillo and Louise Herbenville long ago began counting rocks. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure of that. We're going to have to go hard on this one. She's got it. DC lies too. And not much of a future for Kathy Elwood. Four down, the other team lying two, and the best you can get is one. And is this rock going to curl enough to make contact and well, stick around? It may go right through that opening. I think she's got a piece of it starting to move a bit now, but whether she sticks around for shot rock is going to be another question. No, she's not. She's going to give up another two. And I think that will be it. It's a steal of two for British Columbia, and it will go into the books as a 9-3 BC triumph over Manitoba. In the 1987 Scott Tournament of Hearts here at the Sportsplex in Lethbridge, Alberta. She wants to try and force Pat Sanders to draw with her final stone. Now it should start to curl once it comes off that line. Look at it starting to move now. It's just a question of wait. Now they got to go on it. Now they gotta hurry hard. Is it done enough weight? Are they going to get it passed? Oh, it's it's passed on. It's just a question. Are they gonna make the rings? Now they gotta hurry. They brush it. Is she gonna catch a piece of the eight foot? Yes, she just catches a piece of the eight foot. And that, isn't that funny? I do that circle exactly there in that position. Her final stone. Will she defend her women's world championship? Oh, it looks like they got a lot of weight. They haven't laid much brush to it. Now it started. It's going to go to dig in. Rick Lang is hanging over the boards. He's looking at it. Lorraine Lang is getting up to the T line to sweep. Is it going to stop? No, it looks like it may slip to the back of the eight foot. I think Ontario's won this game. Lorraine Lang. champions Packers out no oh, Kennedy's out there Rick Lang is hugging his wife Going through the motions here. Unbelievable. Chris Moore, the competitor that she is, going down to throw her last rock. And I heard her say to Lori Zeller and Kristen Curluck and Karen, I want to make my last shot at the Canadian Championship. And she's going to come right down to that one. It's going to stop in time. And 
There she is. She waved for a team down to the other end. And she made it perfect. A too little too late. So for Heather Houston, Lorraine Lang, Diane Adams, Tracy Kennedy, and the fifth player on the team, Gloria Taylor, a second straight Canadian Women's Championship. A very impressive 11-5 win over Manitoba. And she must make this one. She trails by a single point. Tons of room. She got it out there. And lots of weight. They're not laying a brush to it. She's well by the guard. It's going to be wide open, I'll tell you that. And a ton of weight. Will Allison Goring even have to throw her final oh, stone? Oh, sure. Take this one's going to be in the back of the forefoot. Take it back. Not bad. Not a bad rock, but fairly wide open. Clean. Whoa. Oh, she's, she released it nicely. Yep. Yes. She released yes. it nicely. Yes. Oh, she's got a good shot. She's right on the money. She knows. She's she right knows. on the money. On right on. Allison Goring with a 7-5 victory over Heather Rankin of Nova Scotia to win the 1990 Scott Tournament of Hearts, the Canadian Women's Curling Champions. Stopwatch in hand, watching her sister release the rock. Lots she's, of room, how's the weight? She's got lots of room and well, lots of weight. Of Tons of room. No problem. Tons Take it back. Tons of room. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Hurry. 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 Hurry, guys. Hurry. Hurry, guys. Hurry. 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 Oh, she's got a great curling shot. They got to take it deep, deep, deep. Hanlon wasted very little time in moving to the far end to deliver this final stone of the 10th. Take off side. Yeah, it's got a hair underneath it. Oh, what a way to lose a curling game. What a tough break for Heidi Hanlon and her New Brunswick rink. And what a great win for Julie Sutton of British Columbia.